X Portal 3000 Installation Guide In this step, you will be introduced to the installation CD. Let's start. Run your X Portal 3000 installation CD. In this installation CD, you may watch the guide video. Install X Portal 3000 server and install X Portal 3000 client. You may also open the installation files using Explorer. Please click on the link provided. All right, that's it for this CD introduction. Next, we are going to install X Portal 3000 server. In this step, you are going to install X Portal 3000 server and initialize new database. Let's start the installation. Click on install server. You will see this window. If you have not yet installed .NET Framework 3.5 on your PC, now click install. To start the installation, click yes. Please wait until the installation finished. Now you have successfully installed .NET Framework 3.5. Click Next to start install the server. Please read the license agreement carefully. If you agree to the terms and agreement, click Next to continue. Here you may enter your company information. Enter your username and company name. Click Next. This is your destination folder. You may change them if you want. Click Next. Click install. Now you are going to initialize the database. Click next to start set up the database. You may change your configuration folder location here. Click Next. This is database user login details. Please note that, you can only change user ID and password, if you have existing Firebird database, installed on your PC, and you have changed the default login account setting before. Click Next. This is client default login details. You may change the password only. Click Next. Wait until configurations completed. Make sure you see this message. 
To indicate you have successfully created database, click OK. Click Next. You may change your company logo here. The size of your logo should be as following image. Click Next. Now you have successfully completed the installation. Click Finish to exit the wizard. Make sure you see this message, to indicate you have successfully, perform all setup correctly. Click OK. If you are running standalone or full edition, make sure you have plugged in the USB dongle. Ignore this message if you are running free edition. Click OK. Click Finish to launch server. Make sure your system status, similar to the following image. Please make sure you see this message, to indicate you have successfully start up server. Now you have completed, all installation steps for, Xportal 3000 server and Firebird database. Next you are going to install Xportal 3000 client. In this step, you are going to install Xportal 3000 client. Let's start the installation. Click on install client. Wait for the extraction to complete. Click Next. Please read the license agreement carefully. If you agree to the terms and agreement, click Next to continue. Here you may enter your company information. Enter your username and company name. Click Next. Click Install. Click Finish to launch client. Log in to Xportal 3000 client. Enter user ID and password. Click Connection Setup, if you installed client on different PC. You have three options to connect your server. You may enter your server IP address, or the PC name you installed the server. Click OK. You have successfully installed your client. Please note that you will see this message if you are running free edition. You may see which client is connected here. Now you have completed, all steps for Xportal 3000 installation. Well that's it for this installation guide. We would love to hear your feedback about this video. Let us know. At microengine.net slash support. You also may find us on Facebook, YouTube and Google+. Thanks for watching.